our dice. Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is the 24th video in our series NerdDice.com where we build a Ruby on Rails 7 application that manages tabletop role playing. And we are nearing the end of this early epic in our application where we are setting up Dev Devise to, which is a Ruby gem, to manage user uh, authentication, sign up authentication, those sorts of things. So we've got a bunch of, we've installed the gem, um, configured it, and now we're setting up a bunch of uh, automated system tests that use the browser to drive the um, all these critical things that need to work in your application. So uh, as we get further into the application, we'll focus more on model tests, controller tests, which run, run much faster, but which um, don't use your, your JavaScript in your actual browser. And as noted in the first kind of introduction video to this um, epic where we're doing this, um, devise in Rails 7, out of the box don't work well together. So um, in the event that they change it, we need to uh, make sure that any tests that we had, that um, everything continues to work with a browser. Uh, and some of the things that weren't working were the types of things that would only show up in a browser. Things like um, flash messages not showing up uh, because of the interaction between device and turbo, which is one of the um, default is, is the default framework in Rails 7 for dealing with um, sending things to and from um, the server, um, a replacement for turbo links and Rails unobtrusive JavaScript. So uh, we've only got a couple things left. And in this video, we're going to try to take a look at user has the ability to reconfirm uh, the email. So in our previous video, we checked, we tested user has the ability to update the email and it's going to have a lot of similar um, functionality here to the point where you might, we might be tempted to put this all just in the update email test class. Um, and maybe we'll start there. So we'll, we'll um, write our tests into that class. And then my assumption is that Rubocop will say, this class is too long, break it up. Uh, break it up, boys. Uh, and then what we'll wind up having to do then is refactor these into two separate test classes, but that will need to share the same um, helper methods and stuff like that. So we'll, we might also refactor the helper methods out into a module or something like that that can be included by both. So um, that being said, let's take a look at the functionality that we are attempting to demonstrate here. So if I go to um, Nerd Dice, log in with a user. I'll go to manage your account here and we can see um, I had previously set up a currently waiting so set up an email to something to change the email back here or to change it to this testing 222 at email example.com so let's make it 223s just so that we can get a sense of what's going on here so we'll do that um, we've updated your account successfully but you need to verify it this is what we had before and this is essentially the situation where either you've forgotten, you didn't get your email, your reconfirmation email or whatever, and you need it to, um, to be resent to you. So this is the uh, email coming to that new address. Maybe you fat fingered, like maybe it really is 223 and you had sent it to 222. Um, so you need to, um, to do that. So, um, so this would be the the link and for whatever reason you're logged out here and you didn't receive your confirmation instructions you want to be able to say testing 223 resend my confirmation instructions 
assert that another email has been sent, then you can, and we can see that another email has been sent, then you can take that and confirm it. And now our email address has been confirmed. You can log in now with the new email address. And you can see now it's there. We'll change it back to what it was. new confirmation token. Now it's back to the original email. So that is the um, functionality we'll be testing. Oh, also if you had, let's say this scenario, you can also get to this page by sending an incorrect token so yeah the token has changed so if i put the old token here it'll say confirmation token is invalid and then this is this is essentially the end of the test we had here uh, invalid confirmation token so that's where we go there and I'll probably just add a recon reconfirm like since you're already on the um, the the reconfirm page there I'll probably just add something in to to do the reconfirm from that context rather than doing another test that gets all the way there and then does more stuff so uh, and resend I wonder if it actually reads so it says you're already signed in when it does that does it actually resend it though it does resend It's odd that it redirects you there, but that is how it works. So we'll, um, I don't, I'm not upset about that being how it works. So we'll just test that it works and be able to adapt to it if it changes. So now uh, there's one more thing I want to note here. I noticed between videos that the uh, registrations edit assertions I had forgotten to add that closing square bracket there so I have that um, added into application system test case here all right so now in the change email test so we'll Note that we'll reconfirm the email here and then test. I'll just write these out and then I'll pause and write these out and then we'll talk through them and then we'll implement them. All right, so we've got the initial things here. So the first thing we're going to do is reconfirm the email in uh, this invalid confirmation token. Uh, example where we are already on the um, resend confirmation instructions page and then um, we also want to be able to 
um, test that the user can reconfirm the email from a logged out state by entering the old email or the new email. Um, and I think that will solve our issues there. So I'll pause and I will attempt to implement the, um, the, the rest of this um, um, this test case. All right, so this is the first pass at uh, implementing this. So this is the uh, invalid confirmation token and can reconfirm. Um, so after we um, have these this information here, um, reconfirm the email, so click on resend confirmation instructions. Uh, as noted, it has the red text you are already logged in. Um, make the logged in assertions. And then we're going to confirm the email with the, uh, the user's confirmation token. Uh, and then we will um, assert that the user has successfully confirmed, reload the user, um, assert that the um, e user's email is now the new email, um, and then log out and log back in with the new email. So let's see if this works as intended. We will run our test here. Just the test, the one test class we're working on because browser tests are kind of slow. All right. Ah, I just got the, so I made it to that point. I've got the, the string wrong there. See if I can just hit line 56. All right, so that succeeded. And you can already see that we're gonna wanna refactor this out some. So confirm where all this stuff is all shared with this. So So after we reconfirm the email here, you're already signed in. Everything else is the same. Let's see if I refactored that out correctly. And we have. So We've got that available to us now for these other tests as well. So um, I will, um, since they're gonna be so similar. Um, let's see here. 
since they're going to be so similar, I'll just knock them both out at the same time, and um, we'll take a look from there. All right, so we've got these two methods that are eerily similar. Uh, so email happy, happy path confirmed, click on log out, welcome page not logged in assertions, click on log in, um, click on didn't receive confirmation instructions, and then in this case we're filling in um, email with old me email, um, in the other case we're filling it in with new email, we click on resend uh, confirmation in instructions and then we'll do the valid confirmation thing. So let's see whether this test, these tests pass or not. Whether I've made any errors in the process here. All right, that's gonna fail for both of them. No, it only failed, okay. From logged out state by entering old email, line 86. They weren't. Okay. 86. Happy path unconfirmed. Click on log out. There's no. No button or link to log out. Let's take a look at our screenshots here. All right, so this is the directory. We go to temp. Screenshots. Currently waiting. Currently waiting. Okay, I need to click on back, I think, then. Let's take a look one more time. Yeah, click on back and then. Let's try it again. Failures on lines 183. No, not 183. It would be. There's a stack here, application system test case, 
27, but where is my... that the user's not logged in in that situation so it's that valid confirmation is getting to that point I think and failing email address has been successfully confirmed yeah so it gets to that point and you're not logged in so uh, I can do Places we do this, we need to now specify true or false. Still two failures. This is failing here now. Your email address has been successfully confirmed and you're logged out. Just fine. Insert text, your email address has been successfully confirmed. If logged in, you click log out. Application system test case 18.
wrong because it's not the welcome page. Let's see. here and this would be the login page assertions hope there. All right, so we've got that working, I believe at this point, if we were to run RuboCop, RuboCop would shoot our dog. Yeah, 115 out of 110 lines, and then valid confirmation is also getting too long here. So we've got the opportunity to get some of this down with um, these are so uh, familiar or so, so similar that we have opportunities to refactor here the um, the reconfirm actually every time we're doing that that's two lines we can just send an argument in and do that so I'll take the first pass at refactoring this and talk through it. All right, so let's go through the things that were refactored here. So I added a method called reconfirm here um, that asserts that you're on the confirmation page. Uh, you fill in the email with whatever email you're supplying via the argument, and then you click on resend confirmation instructions. In that case, for the invalid confirmation token, I was able to take away that assertion from this line here. It was here before about um, send ref the page assertion there, resend confirmation instructions, um, because we're going to do it here. Um, and then in old email and new email here, I was able to get down to one line here, here where we're calling a method called logged out reconfirm because the only thing different between these two scenarios was the email. So in the logged out reconfirm here, we have um, happy path unconfirmed, uh, click on back, click on log out, welcome page not logged in assertions, all the stuff we had there and then we're just substituting that email with this email here and we are uh, actually we are not doing that we are going to call reconfirm here and get rid of those three lines And then in valid confirmation, I um, took out this logic, the if logged in else stuff and made that its own method. So we'll see where that gets us in terms of whether I broke the test class or anything first. And then we'll also see how far away we are from 
Rubocop and whether we need to look at splitting this class up or potentially if it's only a couple lines, um, just adding a, an exclusion there. Okay, I've got a failure. But only on one of them. So line 148 is where we're failing, and it's on the new email. So line 148. In that situation, Which one of these? So line eight, eight, test 84. Go to 84, which is now the, the new email. Logged out, reconfirm. Email change. Happy path, click on back, click on log out. Welcome page, not logged in assertions. Click on log in, click on didn't receive confirmation instructions. Reconfirm email. Validation, valid confirmation. False, let's see what our screenshot says here. Log in. Line failing on 148. Let's try that again. Go specifically to 84, was it? 84. Why are you passing now? See if I can rerun it with that exact seed. No, that is not it. So let's rerun it with that exact seed here. Let's see if it still fails. Okay. Like I'm taking crazy pills. Try one more. Maybe this was the seed.
No, it's passing there. Um, all right, let's see what Rubicop thinks of us. All right, too many lines. I guess try to think this through. Those two tests could go. I guess we split it back out the, the reconfirm. So I'll look to, to do that. I'll, I'll pause and do the first. Um, attempt at this and see how it goes. And I actually think I'm going to do this with the recording running here. So um, we're going to copy, I guess, test device, system device, change email test, to that path. Make sure I'm saved. I am. So we've got our change email test and our reconfirm email test here. Reconfirm. All right, so this is still all the same. This is not here, not here, not here. Test. This is gone, this is gone. So those are our three tests here. And then here we need to get back out of rid of these. Reconfirm, we'll have to make a, well no, because we're not even, what is our assertion there? I think we can just go back to having the, the text there. 
we've already got the other text, the other test for this, uh, and then this just reverts. Valid confirmation needs to stay. confirmation context assertions needs to stay. All right, so let's see if those two tests um, and we've got true duplication of our helper methods right now, but um, we'll solve for that after we find out whether we're passing here. So that's passing. Change email test. is also passing and now we just need to get our shared helper methods into a module uh, so let's give that a shot so we'll create a folder Registrations editable dot RB. All right, and then I think I can do this. This would be module device. module here I'll just fill this in and then talk through it all right let's take a look at what I've got so far so in this registrations editable uh, we took essentially everything that was in the change email test to the point where that doesn't have any private helper methods anymore and put it there. And then the two that I left in reconfirm email test were uh, logged out reconfirm and reconfirm because those are only used in that one method. So uh, those are all now moved to this it's a module uh, and we're extending active support concern here which may not be necessary and then the other thing we need to do in order to get this to work is we need to now require those files require relative in this case and then 
we also need to include it in our class now. In our class now. Let's see if that compiles here and runs. Try it with a change email. We should probably have tried it with the other one first, but we'll see. I'm seeing green. So that succeeded. Oh, this did not succeed though. Email change happy path unconfirmed. Because I didn't save the file. So that's what happens when you don't include the module. RuboCop. Let me off with a warning. Two offenses, one is autocorrectable. Documentation comment, that's fair. And and So we just need some commenting now, and I'm going to um, pause and comment, uh, not just the um, the module documentation comment here, but I'm going to do the, the methods in this as well to um, better um, better document what's what's going on here and what the um, inputs and outputs are because we're getting a little abstract now um, in this. So I will pause and write those comments. All right, so I've got some comments for all these now. Uh, I'm going to rename this because it's not really related to the registrations edit necessarily as much as it is the, um, or actually, let's take a look at reset password test. Uh, that's reset change password test yeah it's not similar enough to do it so I'm going to rename this um, class from registrations editable to email helpers or yeah, email helpers. Uh, All right. I'll anyway. I'll rename the class. Um, first, also, I'm going to uh, add a common email setup method here. Skip a line. because these two have the exact same setup block. Which is now gonna change. Well, we'll see if it angers. 
devise or not with the line link. So we'll do that and then in the setup block for each of these now it'll just be common email setup. rerun the reconfirm which is quicker make sure that oh it's not So here, if we do that, I need to require there. Still not working. test helper, right? Yeah, I just need to namespacing it. Seems to work. I don't even know whether I need that anymore. So that seems to be working. I'll add a comment here and then I'll change the name for this um, and change it in all the places I need to change it. All right, so I've got the the comment here, um, just noting comment, common email setup and then um, I renamed the class, um, moved the file and renamed the class from registrations editable to email changeable. Uh, and then in both um, test classes, changed the require relative statement and the uh, include statement to do that. We will run, reconfirm. Rubicop is now okay. Rubicop is now now okay with us. Um, what I'll well, let's take a look at the status here so we made modifications to the application system test case that was just adding that closed bracket um, made changes to the change email test refactoring those things out um, and calling the um, 
the shared method there in the first um, method, and then we added the, the reconfirm email test um, and our um, devise concern there. So uh, I will hopefully run the full test suite and get to the point where I've got the commit message ready, and then we'll take it from there. All right, I've got my commit message. Close that out. Close all our files. Push to the remote. Update our task here. Update our subtask here, and we've only got one more set of features to test, and then we'll be able to take a look at the retro. So, um, again, similar to last video, if anything happens with the build I'll add an addendum to the video but otherwise see you in the next one thanks for watching this stateless codecast be sure to like comment subscribe and spread the word you can follow us on social media at stateless code until next time keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf